Welcome back to Film Torpedo. How are you doing? We hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about restaurants that are suing Gordon Ramsay. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Watching the culinary reality show by Gordon Ramsay, everyone gets the impression that he has no mercy for anyone, and certainly for the participants. It turns out that insults and indecent words accompany him also outside the cameras. The owner of several restaurants around the world was almost brought to justice for the lack of forbearance and violation of the rights of his employees. Known for his sharp tongue and fiery temper, Gordon Ramsay was sued by former employees of one of his American restaurants. It's the Fat Cow located in Los Angeles. On HuffingtonPost.com, you can read, among other things, that four ladies claim that they have not been adequately remunerated for overtime work. Moreover, U.S. media reports that Ramsay's former employees were allegedly forced to work during their breaks. It was not stated what amount of compensation the applicants were seeking. For Gordon Ramsay, clashing in court with former female employees is not the first. In April of this year, the culinary guru went through two trials. In this case, however, it was supposed to be unpaid receivables. Foreign media reports that the first lawsuit was brought by accountants dealing with the New York premises, supposedly for unpaid invoices for $75,000. The second lawsuit was brought by the company that renovated the above-mentioned Fat Cow restaurant. Its representatives claimed that the famous chef owes them $45,000. As if they weren't already controversial enough, Sammy and Amy Buzagalo now claim to sue him too. They were saying that Gordon Ramsay sexually molested the restaurant owner when he was filming their kitchen nightmares at Amy's Baking Company. And Spicen.com has all the details, including the accusation straight out of Amy's mouth. After receiving backlash in large amounts after appearing on the hit show Fox in May 2013, Buzagalos continued to rage at Ramsey and tried to remain relevant, even telling Radar in an exclusive interview that the chef was a ginger-headed troll. But recent allegations by Sammy and Amy are not funny anymore. In a YouTube video released on November 5th, 2013, Sammy is seen at his restaurant in Scottsdale, Arizona, talking to a group of female customers about the arrival of the couple kitchen nightmares. He harassed my wife, who was sexually molested in the kitchen. He did it, said Sammy. Then, in an interview with the name of Jonathan Langdale on March 10th, 2014, Amy reiterated the allegations of sexual harassment. I can't delete this video. His lawyers wanted me to remove him, so we said, F you, we're not gonna remove this, she said. Wait to hear what he did to me sexually. Wait to hear that he harassed me. When Longdale asks if the contracts and documents signed by Buzagalos to appear on the show Protect Ramsey, Amy frees him. We will bring your business to collapse once they find out the truth and all the evidence we have. Wait for the public to know. And that's why they didn't broadcast everything because they are tracking it, she said. And despite numerous threats from production for Buzagalos to keep their mouths padlocked, as only Radar reported, Amy says they haven't done so yet. Radar contacted the Ramsey camp for comment but received no reply. This is not the first time Ramsey has been charged with sexual harassment, like Radar only released last June. Two former contestants on Fox Chef have stated that they have had to endure sexual harassment and even physical assault by program judges and staff. Also, she claimed that two of their chef's friends have been suicidal since they returned as a result of treatment there. One of the friends was sexually harassed by the judges to the point that her lawyers completely removed her from the program. Would-be chef Marie Porter told Radar. As part of this, one judge told her that the only way he could appreciate her was by looking at her naked body. Two of my friends were physically attacked, one by production, the other by a judge. I'm disgusted. I'm furious. A representative of Shine America, which manufactures Chef, dismissed women's claims against Ramsey. Joe Bastianch and Graham Elliott saying, the players at Mastered Chef are treated with the utmost respect and professionalism and we care deeply about their well-being. Recent comments about the treatment of players are completely worthless. 
That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment on it. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the notifications. Take care of yourself and be safe. I hope you'll enjoy visiting this channel and watching the videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.